Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Thursdays with Abby and this week we have Todd and we are here at the Skill Center and can you tell us a little bit about the Skill Center? Sure. I mean the purpose of the Skill Center, it's a one-of-a-kind type of setting that we have. We're really tailoring it to for folks who have intellectual and developmental disabilities and we're really working on teaching them a specific trade or specific um, skill set so that they can work with some of our community partners if it be in manufacturing or information technology and we'll also work on some of those soft skills that they have some of those challenging some of the behaviors that they may have or kind of work figuring out how to work in those community partner situations and then the end goal is for them to be competitively employed in the job market once they leave the training here at the skill center um, so with the skill center what makes the skill center so unique to any other program sure I think the skill center um, adds a lot of opportunity that a lot of other um, agencies I've seen haven't done. We really have um, partnered with a lot of folks in the community to make sure that once we do the training and it's complete that these folks are job ready. They're going to be full-time employees of those agencies when they leave. We also have um, staff on place to also work them through some of the benefits questions they may have as they become employees. We have a full-time curriculum person that's going to work on you know some of those challenging things that they may face when they're out in the community um, and also the great part of the skill center is really educating people um, you know that uh, disabilities month and I think that you know I kind of look at that sometimes as um, kind of not the correct term I really look at a lot of our folks it really is ability month and us making folks able and to understand the abilities that the individuals um, that are coming out of our program offer them that some, in a lot of cases, actually exceed some of the abilities of the folks that they're used to hiring. And so I think that'll be one of the great benefits um, that the Skill Center has is educating people and really turning out folks that are going to be good quality employees um, for some of our community partners. So what, um, what do you think is the benefit with the community partners? I think the greatest benefit mm -hmm. to community partners is we're going to be bringing out a labor force that really is an untapped resource in the community and that a lot of our community partners are struggling to find employees and they're having a, even a bigger challenge sometimes even retaining or keeping those employees once they find them and we are continually producing um, you know, quality employees that are going to be job ready day one when they leave our program and we have a pretty good proven track history of folks staying mm -hmm. in that competitive employment opportunity and so that will probably be the, the takeaway for a lot of our community folks. And I know you guys have a big event coming up this weekend, which is the Autism Walk. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, we'll be one of the sponsors for the um, Autism Speaks Walk, which usually brings in about 10,000 people um, for its walk. And we will be there kind of educating people on one of our first um, occupations that we have, which is working in the information technology and giving them that information, letting them know about our start date, which we anticipate being in January of this coming year for folks to enter into the program that we have here at the Skills Center. I will thank you for coming on with us today and telling us a little bit more about the Skills Center. And I look forward to seeing what the Skills Center does and welcome to the BCI team. And if you guys want more information on the Skill Center, go to skillcenterstl.com for more information. And I will see you guys next week for another episode of Thursdays with Abby. Bye, guys.